Hey, hey everybody, I hope you are good wherever you are. Um, don't worry about my hood, it's a little oversized, so don't worry about it. I just got it for free, anyway. First of all, I just want to send my condolences uh, to the fellow Kenyans, our people who died uh, somewhere in Krifi, you know, praying, fasting, and uh, communicating to their God. Uh, it's a sad situation, uh, you know, the pictures we see at the scene, the way people are being exhumed, uh, it's very, very saddening indeed. It's very, very saddening indeed. And this brings us to our, our church readers and, you know, uh, pastors and the people who uh, conduct, you know, Riches, uh, you know, doctrines. Where are we heading to? Yeah, when we watch our people die like that, and we are the people who are feeding them with third information, give them the teachings that you know gives them that you know uh, go ahead to do whatever they are doing. It's very saddening. It's very very saddening. When we come to ourselves as human beings, as individuals, some decisions we have to make them at our personal level. Your instincts, your conscience, should it tell you something that something is not light somewhere? You know, God wants us to have a little heaven on this heart before it's coming, if at all there is a coming for Jesus. You no, know, it doesn't want us to serve, you know, to go through difficulties in the name of worshiping Jesus. Just take for instance, your child as a parent. As a parent, you know everything that your child needs. He doesn't have to tell you he needs food, he needs this, he needs this, he needs this. That's the same way Jesus God knows what we need yeah. before everything. Therefore, you don't have to undergo through torture, bad experiences, so that God can hear you. If you can close your door, say that little prayer in your house. Hmm? Pray even for 10 minutes. It would be enough. It would be enough. God can hear you if he's going to hear you. Hmm? That's the truth. That's the truth. You don't have to be deprived of food, good living environment, go to the forest to stay there in the cold, in the hot sun, without water, without food, without anything, in the name of communicating to God. I don't think God, the God who loves us, wants us to do that in order to be heard, in order our prayers to be heard, or in order to go to even. Even you, when you are doing that, Leaving your family, leaving your kids, or going there with your kids to die in the forest. Something must be a little not right in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Something isn't right. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And I don't know if these people find you with something. I'm very sure some people, even right now, you cannot talk bad of Pastor Mackenzie, you can't. They still believe in him. They just believe him to be the right man with the right information, the messenger of the God. My people, we need to change our thinking. We need to make our decisions on a personal level. We need to follow our instincts. I personally cannot stay for long without food. Now telling me to go to the forest, to leave my house, where my comfort is, yeah. where I can sleep well, where I can eat, where I can drink, to go and stuff out there, something must belong with me. Mm. Something isn't right. My head isn't working good. Mm. Mm. How the hell? That's not the life God wants us to live. Mm. God wants us to have a small heaven on these hearts. Yeah. As we wait for him. To come and take us to the everlasting heaven. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to say a prayer through someone, through a fellow human being on this earth who is also suffering like you. You don't. You don't. 
Hmm? You don't have to follow someone to go to even. No. Just follow, read your paper. You, you can buy your paper and read it. You can listen and feel that the information that you get from these leaders. Hmm? Especially when you have these small, small groups that are coming up, we don't know their origin. If you have decided to follow it. Eh? Just filter the information they are giving you. Don't take everything. Hmm? Eh? Don't take everything. Hmm? Yeah. Some things your mind should guide you. Oh, don't go there at all. Especially if someone is coming to you to tell you, sell you a run, sell you a house. Uh, stop seeing the doctor. Stop taking your kids to school. Stop everything. How? That's not the way life should be. We need to go to work, make money, make our lives better. You know, spend that money, enjoy. You know, you are, we are not here to suffer. Let me tell you, you are not here to suffer. Nobody is on this earth to suffer. We are here to enjoy and live comfortable life. Even if there is the second coming of Jesus, of God, or there is another heaven, we should make our heaven here on earth. That's what I believe. Mm? Mm? Don't go to be treated by insects and pugs in the forest in the name of Jesus or in the name of going to heaven. No. No, it doesn't work like that. Actually, if I find you as a family member going there, I'll pit you bad. Anyway. No. Worshipping is freedom of worship. Therefore, just do what you feel your conscience wants you to do. Don't go out there killing yourself in the name of going to heaven. Otherwise, guys, be safe. Don't lose your property to such criminals. Those are criminals. Those are thieves without violence. They're stealing from you without violence. Otherwise, be careful and take care. Thank you. See you later.